so where are we? Is this the second floor? Or third floor? I can't remember. Oh shit, by the way, speaking of floors and shit, wrong button. Are you still alive? Oh, there you are. The little cute snake. Snake, snake of me. Alright, so where are we going? Where are we headed? What are we doing? Are we going this way? No? Okay. Hmm. The music room. Alright. This looks like the music room. I feel like I can see something strange. Looks like some sort of monument. Why would there be a monument in a music room? Not just that, the marking engraved into the monument is a symbol of the Future Foundation, right? Below the symbol, there's a sort of passage engraved. To combat the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, the graduates of Hope Peak Academy were among the many who established the Future Foundation. Huh? The Future Foundation was established by the graduates of Hope Peak Academy? Aren't they known as Worldender? This is completely different. Monokuma, he completely made it up! Hmm. I should look around a bit more. Oh, like this? Like this hologram right here? What's this? Words are floating in the air. This is like a hologram, right? The floating letter of the forming uh, forming letter of uh, fuck. The floating letters are forming sentences. It looks like a passage from an email. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have obtained information a person who claims to be the survivor of Hope Speak Academy. Upon further investigation, there are a total of 15 survivors. You may be wondering about the number of people at this time. If there are survivors of Hose Peak Academy, it's possible that may be targeted by ultimate despair. We believe we should acquire them and place them in our care as soon as possible. Though, I don't really believe the group can go out that far without Junko and Ishima uh, rallying them. In the worst case scenario, we must prevent a repeat of the killing school life. Also, if they are survivors of Hope Peak Academy, we should expect them to be quite valuable to us. However, we are still investigating the details of their origins and we haven't located them either. We will continue investigating this no matter. Also, regarding the separate matter, we have received the report from the research facility on Jabberwock Island. Preparations have been completed. It seems we can now proceed with the experimental phase of the Neo World program. Survivors of Hopi Academy. 15 students? Is that about us? Including Chiaki, who was part of the Future Foundation? There's definitely 15 of us, but what does Survivor mean? It's like they're talking from some other world. What happened outside Jabberwock Island? If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is really true, then the world isn't normal anymore. Maybe. I'm starting to feel like we might be better off not remembering the memories we lost. Hmm. I guess that's all the clues in this room. It's finally confirmed. The Future Foundation is on our side, at least. They were founded by graduates of Hope Peak Academy, and they took us to protect us. But if that's true, Chucky should have made that clear to us. No, as long as Monokuma was around, she probably couldn't say anything carelessly. Monokuma, if he's the Future Foundation's enemy, then his true identity must be the ultimate despairs who caused the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The ones who are carried out the will of Junko and Ashima are making us go through this. Also, this caught my attention in the email too. What's what this research facility on Jabberwock Island mentioned in the email? What was that about? The only future foundation facility we found was in the ancient ruins. There's no way that the research facility... No way there's a research facility. If there really is a research facility on this island, there should be other future foundation members here. Somehow, there are still so many mysteries. Okay. So, uh, let's see. What's the next room that opened? What the hell? Floating cube of doom. That's, that's okay. We'll just ignore that. Teacher's lounge? list of subjects. I'm sorry. This feels different from a classroom. Maybe. It's probably the office, right? I mean, the room kind of 
The room kind of has a stuffy teacher vibe to it. The office, huh? Now that you mention it, it does look like that. More importantly, have you seen Miss Sonya? I don't see her anywhere. How much longer is this guy going to be obsessed with Sonya? Give it up already. I'm sorry, what the hell is this? List of subjects. Hey, there's something written on the blackboard. What's written here? I'm sorry, who's that? On the fucking site. Hayoko Sanonji? What and how? That can't be her. That person's like a fucking adult. Okay. The list of subject is written on the blackboard in large letters just below that are the names I've seen before. Hajime, Chucky, uh, Ibuki, Mikan, Ultimate Imposter is here. Yeah, okay. I wanna. What the hell is this? There's a newspaper posted on the blackboard below. Hayako Sananji is written there. What's this newspaper? That can't really be her. What is this? It says Miss Hayako Sananji. This can't mean the same Hayako, right? I mean, the Hayako we knew. She was much smaller and looked more childlike. It was pretty much her defining features. But the photo in this newspaper. In a way, I can see the resemblance in Hayako, but her height is, and figure is too different from Hayako we knew. What does this mean? Huh? huh? This lady looks pretty mature. Is she Hayako's older sister or something? No, it says Hayako Shinanji here. Uh. Oh, then Hayako has an older sister with the same first and last name. An older city with... Older, older city? Why did I say that? An older sister with the same first and last name. That's the only explanation, right? I mean, look at it for yourself. That's not Hayako. But, did you ever hear her mention an older sister? Well, it's not like I was that close to her or anything. Wrong. She doesn't have an older sister. Hayako is the Sananji's family only daughter. If she doesn't have a sister, then a relative. No, there's still too much of a resemblance. What are you saying? That's Hayako. Huh? Of course not. What are you saying? Hayako doesn't have a curry body like this. I mean, she was famous for her childlike figure. She got away with all kinds of crap for looking like well. that. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she had a growth spurt? What are you saying? She's already dead. There's no way she could have had a growth spurt. <laughs> hmm. Today, I'm well, regardless, all the clues I provided are true. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair. What's going on? What the heck? This is true? If this is true, then Hayako's in the newspaper. Is he really saying this is the same person? That's impossible. I mean, how can there be a photo of a grown-up Hayako when she's already dead? Why... why does this even exist? Hey, hey! Could it be related to that list of subjects over there? Huh? This is bad. If it says subjects, maybe it means there was some kind of experiment, right? Did the experiments change Hayako's body? Oh, what am I saying? It's just saying out loud makes it messed up. What experiments? Uh... If, if it is some experiment, it would mean that we're also test subjects, right? I mean, our names are also written on the blackboard under the list of subjects. But what kind of experiment what's was it? On? Yeah, what's going on? It better not be having anything to do with the time travel. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Huh. There's still some... Oh, you really want me to read it? What about Ultimate Imposter here? Tell me to read shit. Am I supposed to like look around or something? Am I supposed to look at this? An extremely overwhelming portrait is hanging from the wall. I feel like I've seen this before, but the name etched into it. The play card says, Hosby Academy founder, Izu. I. Wait, what? Founder? Hosby Academy founder, Izuru Kam Ka Kamakura. The founder of Hosby Academy and this name, Izuru Kamakura. Doesn't this clearly contradict information I obtained earlier? Damn it, another mystery. Okay. Huh. What about this hologram? There's a letter there's letters floating in airs, like the music room. Look at the passage of the email someone wrote. I think it's the same from earlier. I guess I should read it. 
We understand the matter regarding the survivors in order to satisfy blah blah. blah. Continue your investigation. However, you must execute. Okay, this is different. However, you must execute extreme caution considering the remnants of despair. Even though they have lost Junko and Ishima, the fact remains that they are incredibly dangerous. Even after her death, the tragedy has not ended. Perhaps they are still a leader on par with Junko and Ishima. As long as we do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to end. We will not be able to end this incident. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be eliminated immediately. Eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of the shining future. Immediately eliminated. Does that mean this is an order in order to kill them? That doesn't sound peaceful at all. Well, I guess that's understandable. If the biggest must travel, blah blah blah. blah. If, the, if the tragedy is terrible as it sounds, then it's pretty much out of all out war. If the remnants of despair are the ones waging the war, there's no way they'd be forgiven that easily. Okay. <laughs> Okay, with this, you totally raised all flags on this floor. Congratulations, Tom and Jemay. I'll now show you the next stage. Next stage. How much longer does this go on? Holy shit. Damn it, not again. The hallway's different from last time. I guess when the flag Monica mentioned was raised, it moved to a different hallway than last time. But how's he doing this? No, now's not the time to be confused by that. Thinking about it is just wasting my energy. Alright. Is there anything over here? First, before. Okay. No, what is this? Physics? Physics lab? This place is creepy as shit. Okay, so we have to be in some sort of digital scape. Our minds are in VR right now. If I might, wait, here's my question. If this is inside a digital scape, then did the first game take place in a real location or a digital scape as well? The rec room. There's a, there's a billiard table, the dartboard, and the shelf lined with magazines. It's hard to think room is like this actually exists inside the school. This hologram again. What's this one say? It looks like another email. Regarding the reports we gave you the other day, we have finally succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. Though they were all dispersed. Wait, what? <coughs> Though they were all dispersed, we were successfully to acquire all 15 of them. Due to the fact that we are unable to ask them about specific details, it is unknown how they managed to survive the tragedy. It's been reported that some are wounded, so it seems cer certain that they survived under harsh conditions. Over the course of other detailed investigations, we determined that they are the same age as the others. So we have decided to entrust them to the survivors of the killing school life. Okay. As for the remnants of despair, there are still no solid leads regarding the matter and we have no view information to the report. We will continue with the investigation. Once they are discovered, we shall eliminate them immediately. Everything is far everything is for the sake of future filled with hope. Hmm, Remnants of Despair has been updated. So has the survivors, I guess? Yep. Huh, they said that they succeeded in acquiring and have placed them in our care. That means we should be protected by the Future Foundation, right? Then why is this happening? If the Future Foundation was protecting us, why were we forced to kill each other on this island? Well, I guess it's not possible for Future Foundation to set this all up. What's this? My, my, Hodge, man, if you keep worrying like that, I'm gonna get a toothache and collapse. It's your fault. What's this, ho what's this hologram anyways? Um, this is exactly what it looks like. They're the, the Future Foundation's emails. I thought they made the perfect clue, so I did a bit of hacking here and there to get them. You can even do that? Whoever's controlling you seems to possess many no, talents. No. Well, who cares about me anyways? It's not, it's not important at all. There's no way it's not important. It's true identity should connect everything and what's happening right now. Oh, I still gotta look around a little bit more for what? Oh, shit, there's a file here. It's a file with Hosby Academy seal on it. It says confidential. That means it's a big secret. Very big secret. Uh, why would an important document be here? Why am I even seeking a question like this? Obviously, Monokuma is responsible. Anyways, I need to confirm what's inside. 
about the HOPE's cultivation plan. For many years, HOPE Academy has conducted rigorous research to various talents. The HOPE cultivation plan seeks to use the fruits of our labor to the future or to the fur to further our fuck to further our true goal with our hands we will birth the true hope that will bring hope to the entire world truly the program is the next innovation in providing the ultimate education this plan has been the academy's wish since the foundation so we must succeed at all cost will follow with a series of detailed instructions and 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 fuck and intricate orders intricate i'm sorry i had a hard time i'm reading too much it was full of difficult technical terms and had no idea what any of them mean however the word true hope left a strong impression on my mind for some reason the hope cultivation plan was created for the sake of birthing true hope hope speed academy was behind something like that i don't really get it but there's something about these words true hope hmm. all right I'm trying, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. I really want to beat this game, like, right now. Right fucking now. <laughs> I've been recording this game for three, what the fuck? I'm upside down. Pretty much used to it by now, but even so, what is this space? Am I dreaming or something? I mean, this is just totally disconnected from reality. Oh my god, I hate this shit. Oh, what the fuck? What is that? Is that a Kane? What the hell? Are you alright? Hello? It smells. It's close, very close. Something is coming. Connie's switching her nose and examining her surroundings. It's definitely really close. At least, that's what my gut's telling me. To answer this with your gut. Is this an enemy or an ally? Hmm. Let's see, my gut feeling is... They're both. He's right, they're both. Both? What do you mean? I don't know any details. I'm just gut after all. Well, that's true, I guess. Why the fuck are you, like, spazzing out? That's- Ew! The further I get away, it gets worse. Oh, well now it's fine. But then when you get closer, it fucking freaks the fuck out. That's nasty. Don't show me that. That's gross. And you're fucking up my eyes. I can't- This whole entire place is fucking up my eyes. What the fuck? I don't- What the hell? Where do I go? This way? No? That's the pool. Uh... Where the fuck? Where am I going? Oh my god. Where the hell? This is... This is crazy. That place is locked. This seems locked, right? Yeah, I can't go there. What the fuck? Somebody give... Some, I need help. I need help. I don't know where I'm going. This is where I came from, right? Oh no, this, this is not where I came from. What the hell? It's the library. The library. The library. This must be the library. Monokuma probably left something here too. I should hurry up and find it. Well, I mean, it's right there. This hologram again? It must be another one of Future Foundation's emails. I should read it. There's no doubt that it's another clue. To Future Foundation, 14th Division, Makoto Naegi. Oh, shit. Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What are you doing is a serious act of treason. Do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope to the world. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy. You survived and cooperated with recovering your memories. Immediately return the remnants of the spirit to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of the future filled with hope. What does this mean? This email suggests that someone was trying to let the remnants of despair escape. This email is addressed to Makoto Naegi. But he's with Future Foundation, right? Then why is he helping to protect the remnants of despair? Did he betray the Future Foundation? Okay. Makoto's helping remnants of despair. <coughs> now I know earlier in this playthrough, I said that motherfucking Nagito could probably be Makoto if he went crazy, but Nagito explicitly said how much he fucking hates Makoto, right? He said he hated the ultimate hope at some point. Um, so yeah, what the hell is going on here? Are, wait, are we the remnants of despair? 
I mean, it would make sense, seeing how Mekon lost her fucking mind. Maybe she was part of the remnants of despair. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Anything else in here? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Alright, where are we going next? Maybe this way? No. Hey, Akane, you're flipping the fuck out again. Maybe we're heading towards the pool. Let's go there. Or, we're heading to Class B, too. Or 2B, my bad. Huh? Did I walk into a classroom? I don't really get it, but um, this looks like the laundry room. There's no use worrying about it, but I was in a school and now I'm suddenly in a laundry room. There's a magazine with Junko's face on it. And I can't look at it. But I can look at this tablet. This looks like a tablet computer. It looks like the power is on too. Is this the next clue? I picked up the tablet and immediately started examining it. Neil World Program. Huh. This looks interesting. This word, Neil World. I seem to recall hearing it a few times already. The Neil World Program has another name. Psycho Psychotherapeutic Communication Simulator. The Neil World Program is built with the most recent psychotherapy technology and administrative software. To develop the New World program, individuals such as Ultimate Programmer, the Ultimate Neurologist, and the Ultimate Therapist. Ultimate Programmer? Isn't the Ultimate Programmer dead? Wasn't that, uh, Chihiro? Hmm. We're among the many talented people who research, uh, who, whose research results were utilized. Okay, so they took their research. They didn't make it. Alright. By mounting a device to the cranium, the Neo World program allows the subject to experience a synthetic visual world. That's probably what we're in. Alright, that would make a lot of sense right now. Additionally, the Neo World program has another feature. It can replace memories formed in the real world with information contained in a synthetic virtual world. Replace memories? Okay. What does that mean? Therefore, it is possible to undo tra trauma sustained in the real world, though through the use of the virtual world. Okay. So that would me that would explain why Mekon was wasn't crazy to begin with. Until she got her memories back, then her trauma came back. I guess. Same thing with Hajime. He didn't remember he was a reserve department student, and probably the suicide of the reserve department students. Maybe that's why his trauma was, you know, replaced or something. However, this device is for psych for psychotherapeutic purposes only, and other and any other use is expressly prohibited. Though it is highly effective in treating brainwashing, abusing the device risks. Wait, what? Although it is highly effective in treating brainwashing, abusing the device risks total personality destruction. Okay, this makes more sense now. So, let's say that they found the survivors of the tragedy, the other 15 survivors besides Makoto and the other guys, right? Let's say that they found them and they turned out to be remnants of despair. And everyone that was, everyone that was in this game so far are remnants of despair. By putting them in the visual in the virtual world, maybe they can undo Inoshima's brainwashing. But what's the point of making us do a killing game? Thus, extreme care must be exercised when operating the program. All right. The only thing I the only thing I can think about as to why this would happen is that maybe maybe they found out they were remnants of despair, and Makoto and his friends were like, "We can't get rid of any more ultimates." There already are kind of a dying breed, I guess. And then, in order to save them from their brainwash, I guess they put them in the, they put them inside the, in the headsets. So that's 
Slowly everything around me turned black. Synthetic virtual world. Program. A feeling of internet a feeling of emptiness like everything is being tainted. A feeling of weakness like the world is collapsing beneath my feet. Everything is starting to feel meaningless. The dis- the fuck. <coughs> the desperate attempts, the sad goodbyes, the conflicts, the trust I felt until now. It all is disappearing until all I feel is despair. Okay, Hajime, you all right there? I screamed loudly as if I was confirming the sound of my own voice. There's no way I can accept this. Am I starting to accept this? Th this? There's no way something as crazy as this actually exists. Nice. You gotta raise the flag more in order to clear my character route. Now then, despair is waiting for you. Impossible. This is impossible. That's all made up. Everything is all made up. Made up? Including me too? Okay. Hajime's losing it. Hiya. Hiya, how are you doing? Did you enjoy the killing school trip? By the way, do you guys remember the speech I made at the beginning? From this point on, I promise you a world that truly deserves to be called a game. Foo hoo hoo, you gays are the only. What? Oh, you guys. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> you gays. What the hell? And by the way, I meant gays with a Z, not not gays. <laughs> You, you guys are the only ones watching this who can save them. The end of the world is nigh. Watch what you're gonna do. What's gonna happen? Ain't it exciting? Isn't it? It heart. Isn't it heart throbbing? Look forward to it. Oh shit! This hallway. When we first arrived here, I walked down this hallway from the classroom to get to the gym. I don't really see a resemblance, but... Okay. Guess we're heading back to the gym, then. Oh! Hey, Sonya! Oh, shit. Are you real? Well? Are you familiar with the... With the... With the... Pl Fuck, God damn it! With the placebo effect, and the and the nocebo effect, huh? And the placebo effect is when your health improve. Uh, fuck, it's when your health improves after taking a fake medicine, and you believe it's real. And the nocebo effect is the exact opposite, which means as long as the human brain controls all other body functions, hmm, if the brain believes something is real, it will become real. Why would you bring that up all of a sudden, huh? Oh my. Huh. I'm not sure. I don't fully understand. What the heck? Okay, Sonia? Don't talk to me. Right now? Are we not heading towards the gymnasium? Isn't this the gymnasium? Where the fuck am I going? I can't- I don't know what I'm doing! I can't see shirt! With all this in the way- What the hell is that? Is that Monokuma? Speak to me. <laughs> the moment you discover the truth was a lie, all hope will disappear. Fuck you. 1B. What's in here? Okay. Is this floating? That's impossible. There's no way something this big would be floating like this. But what in the world is it? And the moment I looked at the object. Oh shit. What's happening? Chihiro? Welcome to the Neo World program. A person? A floating person is talking to me. Who is it? No. Is this even a person in the first place? Um, I'm not quite a person. I'm simply an artificial talented program. So, it's Alter Ego. It would make me happy if you called me Alter Ego. Yep. Hey there, Alter Ego. 
That's the name my master gave me when he was created. When I was created. It can talk. But what are you? Alter Ego. Artificial Intelligence Program. I am the master program behind the Neo World Program. I'm responsible for creating and overseeing this world. However, only the observer has the true authority to direct influence, you guys. I can't actually expert much influence. In fact, my existence is one that you don't normally meet. I'm sort of like an apartment manager or something. I mean, oversee the. I may oversee the entire apartment building, but I lack the power to manage individual rooms. But the virus has infected everything I'm supposed to be managing. It. Okay, now this is making sense, cause I know Alter Ego's not fucking evil. Alter Ego's the dopest shit ever. All right. So I guess my train of thought might be right in terms of what Makoto and and those guys are doing by taking us who might be remnants of despair and putting us in the virtual world to get rid of a, get rid of the brainwash that Junko might have done for us in order to save, you know, the ultimates. But something probably happened where the remnants of despair might have caught on and they probably uploaded a virus to the system and started the killing game. That seems to make sense to me at least. And because of that, this world is the world I'm managing is acting very peculiar. Hold on. My brain can't follow you with you're saying my brain can't follow what you're saying. Let me gather my thoughts first. Damn it. That's the feeling from earlier again. The floating, floating. Like my feet are hovering above the floor. It's like I can't feel my feet on the ground, like I can't even believe my own existence. Hey, you should know, right? Where's this place? Tell me, what's the Neo World Program? The Neo World Program has omitted the data collection procedure for shaping the entire world. As such, only the data we collected during the ex <coughs> during the experimental stage is being utilized. Specifically, that means the data detailing Jabberwock Island, where the research facility is located. That is why the previous Jabberwock Island cityscape was restored. Ergo, I am to answer your questions, where is this place? The answer would be mostly Jabberwock Island. Certain portions of it are definitely depending on the circumstances, for example, the school you're in. It appears this space is entirely under the virus influence. That's probably why I'm appearing before you too. However, even without the virus, these circumstances are a bit unnatural. It seems the launch was rushed, and because of that, there wasn't enough time to collect any data. I'm sorry, I don't really know the circumstances of the outside world. After all, I'm simply the overseer of the Neo World program. Most of its words. I understood what they meant, but I couldn't understand what was being said. There was no way for me to acknowledge it as truth. It would make such more sense if this was a fictional world. Wait, are you saying this world is a fictional world? I feel... I feel like I can't believe what's going on here. This missing sense of reality. All the mysteries, all the truths. They're all just fiction? Is that... Even so, I need to know. I need to know what this world is. Hey, can you tell me? Can you tell me? What was the Neo World Program used for in the first place? The Neo World Program serves only one purpose. It used to make the real world a, spl a splendid one. I guess you can say it's a program for creating hope. A program for creating hope? But the fact that we're here and the fact that we don't have our memories. That's all the program's fault too? Deleting memories is the first step towards replacing memories. Replacing memory... Replacing memory data is one of the features of the Neo World program. With the install memories control unit, it is possible to remove any time period you set it to. And for there, from there, you upload the memories obtained in the virtual world. Removing memories any time period you set it to? So Monica was right. We did lose our school memories. But why? Why us? Why were our school memories taken away? There's a reason for that, right? That... It was a mystery to me. Booting the program on the survivors of Hoaxby Academy, well, it's still in the experimental stage. I'm sure there was a very good reason. But unfortunately, I don't know what's happening in the outside world. I'm sorry. Are you saying we're lab rats? 
that's the only thing I can think of. Sounds like we're just lab rats. The Future Foundation did this to us? But they're trying to save the world, right? Or is Future Foundation not our ally? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't provide that much help. If only I was more reliable. I wouldn't have lost my authority to a virus like this. All this new, all this new words make my head feel like it's about to burst. Can you tell me more about the observer and that virus? Well, for this session, the Neo World program was programmed to house 15 people along with two monitors. Oh, two monitors? Yeah, they were disguised as teacher and one as a student. They were intended to guide the participants in this way. By the way, the observer in the teacher role has been given the authority to influence you all. But the observer in the student role was not. Okay. But... Alright, so let's say that the student and the teacher was Monomi and Chiaki. Then... Why is Monokuma here? That would be another... That would mean there's a total of of 18 people in here. Maybe he came along with the virus and then took the authority away from Monomi. That would make a lot of sense. But the observer in the student role was not. They were given a special authority at all, so they seemed they... <coughs> they weren't given any special authority at all, so they seemed the same as everyone else. What kind of authority does the teacher have? As an example, the teacher creates the rules of this world and manages them. If the teacher is properly managing the rules they've created, there's no risk of abuse. But because the virus inflected everything, that has changed. It changed this world where violence shouldn't have existed in the first place. Okay, so Monokuma took over Monomi's authority. The Neon World Program would have promised eternal peace. But just like the world outside, it became a world filled with violence and death. What? What is that virus? I don't really know the details behind the true identity, but the function is beyond my capabilities. No matter how much I try to stop it, it behaves as it knows, as it already knows what I'm attempting to do. In the end, it's still the portion of my abilities which contain my authority to build the world. It was like I was the Grandmaster chess player. I desperately tried to fight back so it wouldn't have complete control, but even so, a portion of the world has been modified as its convenience. Huh, she probably is talking about Monokuma Rock in the Funhouse. Based on what she's saying, sounds like she's on the receiving end of one side attack. But Alter Ego should be impulsive. <coughs> Alter Ego should be an impressive artificial intelligence that Future Foundation created. I can tell that just by communicating with her. Which means this supposed this supposed virus is so smart that it surpasses Alter Ego. If so, does the virus possess an artificial intelligence just like her? Damn it, what the hell? An artificial intelligent waging an attack against another one? So freaking irritating. But how did the virus inflect the New World Program? The New World Program exists in isolation. It is impossible it was infected through the network. A fairly amount someone physically uploaded it. Physically? Perhaps someone secretly bought an external memory drive containing the virus into the facility and directly uploaded it into the main computer where the Neo World Program is installed. Based on my calculations, there must like that must have been what happened. It was brought to the Future Foundation facility, but only person who can enter the facility is someone who is a member of Future Foundation. Damn it! What am I thinking? Why am I assuming that what I just heard is the truth? Why am I assuming that anything is a lie? Observers. Ah, but. It's true that the virus is powerful and that I'm completely overwhelmed by it, but I'm still able to defend the essential areas. So, it has a limit too. A limit? If it took over the observer, then it has to follow the rules of an observer. Uh, such as, in order to end the program and release everyone, I need to follow the correct procedures and... Okay, even if you just got a god in the machine, there's nothing, there's, that's enough hints for you. If you're gonna say something more... Suppose that you exist before what? Suppose that you exist between life and death, and death is your self is inevitable. If so, it can be parallel to the deflection. The deflection based on what the hell? I can't read the shit because all this glitches in my way. The deflection based on the definition of existence that con that con fuck that constitutes the relationship. From there, the paradigm change results by changing. Co 
cut off rapidly and causes a situation where your own existence is un unobservably and accelerates and cross with the joint relationships of the world and the situation from the content and what the hell? Death 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 Hey Death 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 Alright, I get it, I get it, I fucking get it. Alright, I won't talk to Alter Ego anymore. God damn it. Can you stop? Can you please? Please. What the hell? Makoto? What just happened? You're right there, aren't you? Someone's right there, right? Huh? Who are you? Are you different from the earlier one? Maybe he can't hear my voice from this side. I'm currently talking to the world through Alter Ego. Ever since you guys vanished into that space, the video feedback has been pretty distorted. But even so, we were forced to watch you this entire time. Huh? The thing you guys were forced to do, we were forced to watch it. Forced to watch us? I really want to save you right away, but because of the virus interference, I couldn't. Our orders are no longer being accepted, including shutdown requests. The Neo World program is beyond our control now. In that world, that person created an independent country that doesn't accept outside interference. But Alter Ego created an opportunity for me to speak to you directly. If this means that's working, then it means that the person I need to talk to is right there, I hope. It looks like the guy can't even hear me or see me. Just who is this guy anyways? Is he our ally? Since there's no time, I'm going to say what I need to say and believe you're there listening to me. But first, I should apologize to everyone. I know apologizing won't help, but we need to imagine something like this would happen. We never expected such an atro atrocious virus were lurking inside the Neo World program. But that's entirely our fault. It's our responsibility for not realizing it until it was too late. But it's not just the virus either. I can't say for sure that the program didn't have any problems in the first place. To tell you the truth, I was unsure about whether or not I ran the program onto you guys. But this was the only way to save you all. I wanted to save you guys. Save us. Did he want to save us from? What? Wh why would this save us? You've already seen the password to enter the graduation exam ground, right? You know 11037. 11037, that number we found in Nazmi Castle. The door to the ancient ruins was supposed to open after you all finished gathering the hope fragments. From there, you guys were supposed to challenge the graduation exams. However, I prepared the password just in case something went wrong. Like I said earlier, I had my doubts that this program was perfect. Even if the chance was slim, I thought the observer might end up going rogue. That's the reason I left that 1107 password in a place where the teacher role would not be able to go. I never thought Naito, who saw it first, would erase the password. Anyways, I'm also the person who set the password to that number. The number contained a secret. Someone close to me left the number and... 1107. Wait, 1107? What? Wait, <laughs> what? Really? Hold up! Is that password for the first murder in Danganronpa? Really? Is that Sayaka's murder? When she fucking rolled it on, wrote it on the bathroom wall and they're like, If you flip it upside down, it just says Leon. <laughs> Someone close to me left that number to uh, left that number to save me when I was in a dilemma. He's talking about Sayaka, that's cool. Can you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm entrusting that will to you all. I'm entrusted it to your future. But that person is trying to abuse the graduation system. If I'm sure they're going to crush you with despair using the graduation exam that's waiting for you. But I want you guys to endure it without giving up on hope. I want you guys to withstand it until I get there. Because I have a secret to defeat them. Does that mean he has a secret plan to defeat Monokuma? In the worst case scenario, there's an observer who has the role of teacher gone rogue. I prepared a hidden command to use at the graduation exam site. That's the four shutdown sequence. Four shutdown sequence. Even a teacher authority can't stop the command. That's a way to end... Wait. That's a way to end this that you guys can choose on your own, independently of the observer. Which means, even if they stole the teacher authority, they should be able to stop it. If you use that, you guys will win. However, in order to start the four shutdown sequence, you need more than half the number of people. More than half the number of people. Fifteen... What the hell? And in order to do that, I need to somehow get the number. Oh, come on. Death, death, death. No, Makoto! 
Damn it. Death, 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 death. That's your doing, Monokuma, you bastard. What was that just now? Hey, Hajime. What was that What was that weirdness just now? Nothing, really. I see. Oh, well. Anyways, all well, hands you're gonna get. If that's if that no good for artificial intelligence to tell you any more usual stuff, I'm gonna butt in again. Did Monokuma not notice what just happened? It's been a while since I've spoken at length, but... I was important to, uh, it was important to talk to you. It was worth waiting a long time here. Hey, about the guy just now. There shouldn't be anything else for you to ask me. I see. It'd be bad if Monokuma overheard us. That means Monokuma doesn't know about the conversation we had with the guy just now. You guys have a weapon. A very powerful one. It all depends on how you guys use that weapon. The only thing I can do is preserve the virus in invasion with all my might so you guys can get the weapon. The rest is up to you. Do your best. Do our best, huh? But that's what we have to do is our best. Uh, the mysterious is getting solved. The mystery is getting solved. I'm finally starting to see the truth. But what are we supposed to do when the truth is really a lie? Uh, we know we're working towards a conclusion that nobody wants to hear. But still, do we really need to work our heart to do our best? Is there really a reason to do our best? If everything was a lie, then isn't everything just meaningless? Is that the same for the killings too? Even though we had experienced something as painful as that, something as tragic as that, wouldn't all of it be meaningless too? When the world has slipped over and become so irrational, what am I supposed to do? And that's the password for Leon. Oh my god. Yeah, holy shit, that's stupid. I love it. <coughs> Alright, I guess that means we're ready for the trial now? Holy shit, it took- it literally took like, what, two hours to get all this information? What the fuck? Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's time for the long-awaited graduation exam! Please enter the red door located on the first floor of Hope Speak Academy! <laughs> See you soon! A red door, huh? It's just a waste of time thinking about what it all means right now. For now, I need to finish this. I need to just focus on that. Red door. Red door. Oh my god, I can't see shit. Oh, there it is. Red door. Hell yeah. He means this red door, right? Do I just have to go in here? If I do that, will this be finished? What the fuck am I looking at? Oh shit. I better not start seizing out because of this shit. Huh? This place. Yo. Looks like everyone's here. I'm right. It seems that this is gonna be the final However. place. However, this place is... Is this a trial field? But why is a trial field here? It sure looks like a trial ground, but the vibe is way different than the other ones. Um. We've been here before, right? Yeah. This should be the place that the door at the entrance at the fuck. This should be the door at the ancient ruin leads to. Ah, uh, it seems pretty strange that we've been in in that other building till now. It's like we're dreaming or something. If this is a dream, then this too is very. Welcome. So you finally arrived. Congratulations, you guys are the first ones to ever beat this game. After stopping by Hose Peak Academy, you finally come back to this place. To the graduation exam site with the ancient ruins of Jabberwock Island. You can get, <coughs> you can give it a fancy name like graduation exam site, but there's no difference than the trial ground from before. This trial field actually inspired the one from before, so in a way, this place is the original. Who cares? The graduation exam means we can finally go home, right? Of course, if that's what you guys decide. And if we have to decide what we have to do, 
Eh, please take a look at the LCD touch panel built into your seats. Compared to the other trials, the rules are much simpler than that. Yes, indeed. There are two options, graduate and repeat, right? You just have to choose one of them and press it. All you will <coughs> all of you will cast your vote and whether one has the majority will be considered your final decision. If you don't press either one of them, it will be treated as an absence and will not count. Which means everyone who has died until now will have their votes treated as absences. Then then the result is based on the majority vote. Hmm. Hmm. If graduate is chosen by a majority vote, from there an event that's kind of like graduation ceremony called the graduation program will begin. Even if we have to do that stupid majority vote, the result is already pretty damn obvious. Come on, let's move along. We can just press it now, right? No, 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 Fuck, no. You can't do that yet. I mean, your resolve hasn't firmed yet, right? You will be swept away by society's heart, harsh current. Shut up! Who the hell cares? I'm gonna press it. My my, which of your, which of your, or, what the fuck, orifices are you using to spew, to spew bail? To participate in the graduation program, you need to finally say as your teach. You need my final say as your teacher. You know what? Does that mean it won't end with just a majority vote? After the vote, I'm gonna judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. So, even if we vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it. Oh. Mm, I'm terribly sorry for being rude earlier. No way. But you don't have to. There's no way I won't acknowledge your graduations. This is merely a formality. I'm just doing it because that's how it has to be done. He's doing it because it's how it has to be done. It doesn't mean that he can exert his will over everything. He too has a limit. Is this what Alter Ego was talking about? Anyways, even if you don't want to do it, you guys still have, <coughs> you guys still need to do it to solve the mystery. Afterwards, you cast your majority of votes, and from there, we move to the graduation program. <laughs> but why do we even have to go through something so dumb? Well, that is, you say you were waiting for the main cast, right? Hmm. Which means you're still stalling for time, then. Who's the main cast? Ah, uh, no need to worry about it. It has nothing to do with you guys. There's no way it has nothing to do with us. We were the only ones who were involved, you know? So annoying. It doesn't matter if you're involved or not. You're just a bunch of chumps in a big picture. That's why it has nothing to do with you. Just perform your roles without complaining. Piss me off. Hold on. What's with this chump comp? can't ignore that! Uh, not that it's important or anything, but make sure you turn off that toy. Forgive you. How dare you treat him like a toy? I did treat him. <laughs> I did treat it like a toy. You got a problem with that? I created everything. <laughs> You're actually picking a fight with me? I'm basically a god. Just how promising can you guys be? I guess this is just the na nature of life. Fine then. Before you die, I swear my power into your memories. What? <laughs> 